Creating an app in MATLAB App Designer is a five step process. Starting with the creating a new project and then creating the user interface. The user interface means uh, something that looks like this. Uh, you put controls and uh, buttons and everything on the window and you create the interactive window uh, where the user interact with the program and then specify the callback functions callback functions are the function that respond to an event you you press a button and the code that execute upon uh, clicking the button is the callback function and once you are done with the coding behind the interface you run the program and uh, you can interact with your graphical interface and finally if you want to deploy or publish your, your app you can make it as a standalone app and it will work fine the previous versions of uh, MATLAB used to have uh, this kind of um, app developer app designer and we call it MATLAB guide graphical user interface designer uh, but in the, to the 2019 and the uh, later versions, uh, the guide uh, is obsoleted and we, we now can only use the app designer to create uh, user interfaces. So let's get started. You can go to new and here's the app. You can click this to create, uh, to open the startup page you can open an example just by clicking any of these uh, let's start with a blank app so when you click the blank app uh, the windows uh, this is the editor window for the user control this is the where, uh, this is a page with which the user interact and this is the code view that means you type the code behind this uh, interface so you can switch between code view and uh, design view uh, using these tabs. Here is the uh, component library. You can uh, drag and drop components from here to here. For instance, I am going to add a button and uh, here I have uh, access. So uh, I have added two components. So here you can see in this uh, in this list, I have app dot button app dot UI access. We got these two controls on our window. Clicking this button creates an event, and uh, if we go to this, uh, make sure that this button is selected, and you come to this callbacks. The inspector means shows the properties and the callbacks sh uh, shows the uh, uh, callback functions associated uh, with this button so you can just drop down and you can click this add button pushed function so if you click this it will add a function um, here we, we switch to the user uh, to the code view and this is the function it has created a new function which will be executed when that button is pushed okay so, so i'm going to put the code for plotting a function on those axes here so we normally um, put a let, let's define the a variable for the axis so let's let me call it t starting from 0 with an increment of 0 0.01 up to let's say 3 and we have uh, another function uh, y that is equals to sine of uh, t so 50 times t and we want to plot them plot these arrays t comma y 
So this is the normal way we, we, we do in the MATLAB. Okay, but this is the normal way we do in the MATLAB. But the thing we want to do here is that is that we want to uh, we, we want to put it on the on this axis. So to do that, we can we can write it like this. Plot app dot ui axis comma t then comma y that's it so that's the only change that we have made that we have specified the axis where we want to plot the function so you can run it this windows pop up and here you can see the plot when the button is pushed okay that's it